Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I'm back with day four of my short embellishment series. And a lot of people ask about these bows and I love creating them. So I'm going to show you the two types of bows that I get asked about most often. And this is one of them. Super shimmery, shimmering bows. Love them. And then that's another one. Okay. So let's just pop that back up a little bit. There we go. Super, super cute. These are very easy because I used a file but um, to cut it out. But you can get these bowls, which is where I got one of the bowls from. It's from the Cutting Cafe. I'll put a link in the description box to her bowls. Um, super, super cute bowls. And you'll definitely be able to make a ton of these and have them look as shabby or as whatever, however you want to have them vintage because they're just the file. You can cut them out by hand and you can use whatever paper. You can make it what you want. So you'll need, you'll need a bow file. There's also um, some tutorials on YouTube using the um, gift board punch or scoreboard punch or something to make bowls. You can definitely check that out. Some type of We Are Memory Keepers punch board you can use to make bowls if you have that. So otherwise, you know, check the link for the Cutting Cafe where you can get the bowls. The Silhouette Online Store also has bowls as well. So, which is the second set that I'm going to do. So this one here, we're going to, we're going to make here. So all you want to do, the, it cuts out like this, like I said, or you can print it and cut it out by hand. You just want to take a round object, I'm just using the end of this pen, and slowly curve just a little bit, curve the bow. Okay, you'll need the bow file, of course, files. You'll need some shimmer. You'll need a centerpiece. I'm using this um, Recollection Rhinestone Stickers in our favorite stickles. So once you've curved over your bow, you add a dot of glue to the center. And then you add this little piece that I'll show you on the other side. This little piece goes to the center. Like, like I said, it's super, super easy. You can make a ton of these at once. And I recently gave some away. I made a bunch of these while I was at work and I just went to town. I mean, these are absolutely cute, 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 really cute. So the next thing I'd like to do is I'm going to take this pen and I'm going to go in between here and fluff up my bows. Just put it in there. Be gentle. Flip it over to the back. Add some glue to the back. And add it to your center. The center of your base. Whoa. Very easy. Then I'm going to get my rhinestone ready. I'm going to shimmer it. I like my base to be super shimmery. And if you have managed to get your bowls unfluffed, just do them again. And then you want to add a little bit of hot glue to the center here. I don't know where my rhinestone went, but we'll put another one right there in the middle. Really easy. Okay, take your stickles and just go over the fishtail of the of the the end of the bow. And then around the edges just lightly graze it so it can not look strategic just like you're grazing super super shimmery you can't even see it with all this light look at that really really cute all right and then the second one 
This one is from the Silhouette Online store. Comes in four pieces because it's a layered bowl, which is one of my favorite as well. Really, really cute. You can make these as big as small as you want if you're doing them on the machine. Again, roll it over and then add your glue. Fold that piece in. Add another piece of glue. Fold that over. Pinch it. Okay. And then you have your big base. Another dot of glue there. Line it up with the bottom. Pinch it. Okay. And we're going to go to the small bowl, curl it over, do the same thing, pinch it close, okay, and then add get my bottom piece together, add glue to the bottom layer, right down here, layer it center, just like so. Okay. And then um, the silhouette cuts out this little piece here. It's perforated. I don't like it. Sometimes you add glue, it doesn't adjust to the height. So I just cut out an extra strip of paper from whatever paper I'm using. I'm going to add some glue to the back of this small flag, center it on the larger one not flag, but bow, and hold it. And then I'll take this little piece here, put it right in the middle. It just adds a clean look, and I'm just going to flip it over. Add some glue to the back, and flip that little piece over. Just hold it till it sets. And then take the other piece, pull it taut without tearing, add a dot of glue, and fold it over to the to top that off. And you just can cut off any overlapping excess. See how neat that is? So then you'd want to take um, that pin, it's too big um, to fluff up my bowls, so I'm just going to find something to put in here before I spray it. This is a glue stick. Yep. Just roll it so that they're nice and fluff. The pin can fit in this one. And then glue stick in the smaller one. Perfect. I'm going to add some shimmer. And hit it with the heat tool. Probably should have fluffed after the shimmer, but that's okay. Only one side decided to revert. Okay, let's match this up. So, the only thing we have to do here is add our centerpiece, put a dot of glue in the middle, add our little rhinestone, that's that. Now you can choose not to add stickles to it, I just think it, just add more fun, I just add them to the banners, the flag ends. And I'm really just lightly grazing. You can also put this on your finger and just rub it on there. Not too much. See? Super shiny. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So there you have it. That is day four.
of my short embellishment series. Hopefully you guys are checking out days one through three. And tomorrow is the last day. So be sure to leave a comment, like this video, like the other videos if you like it. Let me know what you think or if you've tried it. And um, just remember that I will be giving away all of these embellishments at the end of the week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for day five.